Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday. It's nearly 17 degrees outside. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm about to go in the field of nothingness. Um, because the, the field I was on last time, the crops have gone down. The grass is starting to grow through on, on this one again. Uh, but I'm gonna go on the field, the other side of this hedge, because I've hardly done that bit at all. And head down towards those bushes and that over there. And I've got a couple of hours, so I just thought I wanted to get out, do a little bit, so I'm gonna crack on. And yeah, I will see you on my first find. Literally very first target, and I've literally just wiped away the soil. And we got a coin, first coin. What's it gonna be? It looks like a beaten up half penny. Um, not sure it's a little bit dirty, we'll give it a clean. It'll probably be a George's second or something. All right, cool. On to the next. All right, next target in a hole is a little mini pistol ball. That's what it is, made of lead. All right, so I've been going for about an hour and a half. I've come back for a drink. It's been pretty quiet, um, but I expect that on this field because the two times that I've been across it, I've not really had many signals at all. Um, Loads of bits of lead, no, no real rubbish. I found one, one tin can on here, and that's about it. Um, but I'm gonna have a little go back over that way because um, the road sort of runs down here and along there. So I'm gonna get nearer the road again so I can find some bits. But this field is pretty dead first signal on this other side of the field and I've just got my first silver coin which is a George the third um, George the fifth sixpence 1922 sweet after having a bit of a chat with someone from the house that overlooks the field um, who wanted to to know a little bit about this hobby I found this little buckle it's getting a bit windy now I've got about half an hour to an hour left right let's carry on not far from that buckle I just found this it looks like it's I don't know I rubbed it and it looks like it's got some silver content in it but it's it's pretty small it almost reminds me of a rose farthing type um, thing. Not sure on that. There's something anyway. Right, on to the next. I've got this uh, flat button just out of that hole. It's about six inches down. And I'm sure it reads, I think that says Northumberland. Around there, Northumberland Street or something. And it's quite plain on the back, but I mean on the front even. <laughs> yeah, on the back it's yeah, it's got some nice little nice little detail on it. All right, on to the next. Well, right, I'm gonna uh, head out of here now because if you look at the sky, it's kind of nice, and then. Boom! Massive storm and the wind's blowing this that way too, as you can probably hear. So, yeah, I've got a storm coming towards me. Uh, there's a rainbow in the distance, the other side. So the rain's slowly trickling its way, and I don't want to get too wet. So I'm out of here. I just want to show you something I thought was really weird. Look, look at the ground everywhere on this field. You can see this yellow bit. And then nothing. And then all the way down there. All the way down there, straight as a die. It's always weird. Just wondered if anyone knows why they'd have 
like tire marks that have made the grass grow and stay yellow out of the whole field. It's weird. Weird, weird, weird. Right, I'm on my way down to a permission I've got. Uh, it's about 20 minutes away from where I am now. Uh, so the temperature outside is 17.5 degrees. Not bad for October, middle of October. It's pretty decent. So we're going down to this field. We're going to get on there. It's pasture. There's cows probably. I've been there before. I'm not expecting too much. It's quite quiet, but the ground's a lot damper. I've never been to it when it's been like really easy to dig and I'm expecting it to be a lot easier. So I'll dig a lot more targets than I was last time I was there. I was kind of being a really picky because it was such an effort to get stuff out of the hole. Um, I'm going to take my little boy with me. Well, not so little anymore, but he's coming down with me. Um, he's going to see if he can find some more silver coins like he did last time he was there. And yeah, I'll see you down there. So we're here. It's um, got a bit of this stuff everywhere. So we've got to keep our eyes peeled when we're walking about, make sure we don't go. And um, it's a bit windy. All the cows and bulls are over there, sort of heading over that way. We're going to do this bit around here. All right, I'll see you on the first one. First decent signal, apart from there was one bit of lead, and uh, we've got ourselves a coin. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a George uh, third. Uh, judging by the edge because you get this slight little middle line around it and that's normally a giveaway so we'll see if there's any any kind of date or anything on it don't see anything there there might be um, yeah it's a bit it's not in that bad a condition but it's not readable at the moment i think it's george's second and uh, yeah man all right on to the next all right next target um uh, i saw the impression as i pulled the clod over and down here we have a coin it feels very worn very thin indeed um yeah i don't think we're going to see anything on this one to be honest uh, that's, that's pretty dead pretty dead um, the cows are starting to show an interest they're, uh, they're heading this way so we're going to get out of here right see you on the next one right yeah um, we've been we've been pushed out there's a there's a few balls in there and they're, they're not amazingly happy but yeah, there's quite a lot of cows in here really for this little bit of pasture. This one here looks like a head honcho. The black one right at the back there. But they seem very interested. There's another bull that is staring us out. So yeah, we're um, we're going to go into another field which is um, just over here. Rather stay out of the way than uh, get into trouble with them and uh, yeah we'll see you on the other field all right see you in a bit right because we don't get too many signals i'm going to video everything from now on all right next signal is a flat button with the shank missing very worn down we've moved on to this field now because the cows have definitely taken over that section but we've got quite a bit to go all the way down there so right on to the next Right, uh, next find is this, looks like a cap off a navy button. That's the back of it. That's what it is. We got a tiny little flat button, with like silver gild on the front. And a shank on the back, but yeah, that is my little finger. Tiny, 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 tiny. All right, uh, another flat button. Uh, shanks missing. We have yet another flat button. Complete, completed with wind. Lots of wind. Sweet. 
Right, next signal we have a coin showing through in the ground. I thought, well, I'm assuming it's a coin. Yeah, it's looking like a big penny. Oh, don't know what this could be a George. Yeah, it's got a big rim around it. It's not a cartwheel, but it's a. Uh, it's still a penny, George Free. Yeah, it's very smooth. Hardly anything left on it, but it's chunky. It was giving off a uh, 85. Yeah, it will dry out. It's like 1790s. George Free. It was down there, about five, six inches deep. Sweet. Right, next signal is a ship half penny from probably the 60s, uh, Queen Victoria, I mean, sorry, Queen Elizabeth, and yeah, half penny it is. Right, we've got a coin in the clod, looks like it's going to be another half penny. Oh, it's got a nice patina on it. 1862, which means it's going to be Queen Victoria. Let's have a look at the other side going to be a young head yeah, it's pretty worn it's got some crusty build up on it but yeah we'll take that we'll take that right next signal we just found this it's got a massive nut on the bottom of it but then <laughs> it's kind of it's got a weird <laughs> it's got a weird shape to it um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's some <laughs> sorry I've got the giggles uh, is it a 19, 1920s butt plug I don't know no it's not one of them I don't know what all these rims are <laughs> I know I'm like, it's got a lot of <laughs> it's got a lot of rims on it <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, on to the next. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this is a military cat badge, I think. It's got G something. Something. It's a bit dirty. I don't want to rub it too much. Um. But yeah, it's definitely would have had a pin going across there. Uh, some little military cat badge. Pretty cool. All right, I'm going to be going in a little bit, and we'll see if we can find anything else before we go. Right on to the next. Right, next signal came out of that clod. It is this pigeon ring, GB. When it focuses, GB11, and it is J36. Three, five, four. So that can only mean one thing. J three six three five four is no more. Right. See you on the next. Right. Last uh, three signals have all been buttons. Got a gold gill flat button, another tomback flat button, and a cringy whatever it is. I think it might be some old military button. Right. Right, these holes always creep me out when I go past them because if you look down there, it goes way, way down. It goes straight as well. It's like straight down with a curve on it. And it's obviously got a big dug out pit around here. And uh, yeah, I just always imagine like I'm going to be walking around here and someone's just going to jump out and grab me. And there's a couple of them around here. I think there was another one. If you go, if I go down here a little bit, it might be his entrance and his quick exit. Where did I see the other one? Oh, here it is. There's another big hole here. It goes way, way down into nowhere. Whoa. Right, uh, just going back to the the car here uh, from the road. There's literally like this tiny tiny little triangle of land which I don't know how long it's been here 
I uh, just thought I'd wave the machine over it and just straight away popped up a 1944 from the war uh, George uh, George Penny it's got a weird sort of brownie green patina on it Ta-da! God I spoil you guys I've done two hunts and haven't found really anything too drastic um, but I'm out on another field, gonna do another couple of hours, and so this video is gonna be about three hunts, short hunts. Uh, I've got a couple of hours, it's 20, 20 degrees today, it's quite nice. I'm just gonna get my boots on because I'm wearing these trainer things that I've already wrecked from the other day, and yeah, we're gonna see what we can come up with here. All right, see you in a now this field's been very, very dead to me. I'm determined, determined to find something half decent on this. A first decent uh, signal, and it's this tiny little coin, which I can see is a little rose. I don't know if you can see that little rose on it. That is a rose farthing. Uh, there's not much left on it. But a tiny little copper coin that is. Tiny, tiny. Right, on to the next. Right, we've got uh, another signal. It's a cap off of something. I think it might have been a... Could have been a button. Could have been a button cap. Weird design. It's different, different, different. Right, on to the next. Just come across a token, a uh, lead token. It's got a T on it. Just T written on it. Blank on that side. It looks like it might have been something on there at one point. It's quite white, so it's quite an old one. Right, cool. Right, about uh, two foot away from that their token we've got a medieval pot leg I found a few of these not on this bit of the field but that's a good sign yeah that's what that is part of a pot leg cool we've got a coin and it came from down there this that's the imprint right there been sitting there for a few years. It's, it's drying out a bit now. It's a George the Second. You can see the Georgius around there. There's a two over this side. He's facing to the right. The back's properly gone. But that was enough. Enough to get an idea on what it was anyway. Probably won't be there for that long. Right, I've uh, got about another half an hour and then we're out of here. Right, uh, you're looking at a happy man because I've managed to do it. I haven't found a silver hammer coin on this field at all and I said we were going to come out and we were going to go until we found it. And here it is. It's bent. It's got a slight little kink in it. But I haven't touched it and I can already see that it's got all the signs of a groat or a half groat. Um, it's a bit windy, let me just turn around. So, there she is. And it's on this area that um, I... I came down here, it's, it's weird actually, <laughs> because a couple of, well, quite a few videos ago, I came on this field and I was like, I've been waiting a year to get on this land. And I walked from down there, I walked all the way up to here and I started detecting in this corner. And the first thing I found, which was literally there, was a golf club and it had a seven on it for a seven iron. And I said, oh, maybe that's 
a lucky maybe that's going to bring me luck like lucky seven and instead of staying in this area i literally dug a can another can and then some more trashy bits and some ring pulls along here and i went all the way up that way um all the way around the field came all the way back to about here and then i started digging up cans and trash again uh, but i didn't didn't really concentrate on this corner too much because like i say I've, i dug the golf club um, and then i dug all the trashy bits and then i've come all the way back down here from over there and i've literally had a lead token medieval lead token a medieval pot leg and a few bits of lead and now this hammer coin so this is an area this is definitely a spot this corner right here and i've been looking for it for for days that i've been coming to these fields i've been trying to find another location where it's busy and finally it was where i started in the first place which is just crazy and uh, so i'm not gonna not gonna clean up this at the moment but i know what it is well i know roughly what it is it's probably going to be a uh, maybe an Ed with the third half groat or could even be a groat I don't know though yeah maybe it's just deceiving me because it's folded in on the edges but it's definitely a silver hammer coin sweet right I'm going to carry on it's a shame really because I haven't got that much time left now and um, I'm just going to have a little bit of a go around this corner still see if there's any more signs of anything old and then we're going to head home but i'm so pleased with that i'm i'm really really chuffed right see you in a bit right um i'm heading away from the corner i'm now heading back up to the car and about five yeah about five ten meters away from the first pot leg just found another one that's two only one to go and we got the whole pot nearly i'm still heading back to the car uh, not that far away now i just found another uh, George II coin again nothing on that side but enough to read the back well we're back out again I'm just making my way down to the field as I speak to you it's 15 degrees today, a little bit breezy, sun's out, no chance of rain, and I've got two hours, so we're going to shoe off, we can find in two hours. I'm going back down to the spot where the pot legs were found, um, see if we can find anything else around that area. Gonna go over it very slowly I'm gonna put the machine on full power as well just to get a little bit of extra depth and I'll see you down there bye well this is a bit of a shock I've um it's pretty windy but I'm gonna point to the direction and write down where I found the other pot legs which is right down there. so like yeah a long way away um i'm in the middle of the field because i thought if there, if it was busy there and there's pot legs and there's medieval things in that corner i just thought i'd follow a straight line heading up from there but i've literally this is the first target i've had and it's the best size long pot leg i've ever found it's beauty but yeah it's definitely a nice old one. It's got some nice detail on it. Oh, I like it. Weighs a ton. Banging signal. Right. Um, yeah. I'm going to stick to this line. If not, I'm going to come back around this area. And There seems to be... Because the, the pot legs as well. I forgot to mention. Um, even in the last video, I found one. I've still, I think I've still got it on me somewhere. Uh, I found a, a pot leg and it, and I'm sure it was like made of lead or 
or something. I don't even know if I got it in my bag. Right, I found it, it was in my bag. So, yeah, so I like look at the difference of these. Right, so this is this massive one, and then an, another one which is different from all the rest again. But I think it's made of something totally different. But yeah, I got that on the way back, I didn't video it um, on the last one. But yeah, that's that's four totally different pot legs in this field so yeah it's, it's got signs of hope somewhere um, it's a question of where where right second target now we're getting somewhere um, got this bit of this buckle that's quite ornate looks relatively old I'd say Let me just put it in my hand it's like a bit of a possible shoe buckle it's got a hole in that little bit in the side there in the middle yeah, that's pretty cool right on to the next okay next we have a musket ball ba bang don't know if you can see it right there but we've got our next find and this is a baby thimble is it? It looks like a tiny little yeah it is look how small that is and I, I haven't got big hands and that, that wouldn't even go on my little finger that's tiny tiny little thimble little bubby one right see you on the next one I just found this uh, tiny little copper coin I think, um, could be like a farthing again, uh, yeah you can see it now, look at that, it's the second one on this field, it's a little rose look, and the back's got something left on it. Yeah, it's quite old. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Tiny little coin. Managed to pick it out nicely. Nice little 50s bleep signal. Sweet. Just want to show you these. My last two targets I've dug out have been these beastly bullets. Boom, boom. 50 cal. A little bit of action in this field during the war, I should imagine. Right. First kind of coin just come out of the ground. Um, just letting it dry out a bit. It looks like it's got a date on it. Yeah, it has. Just. I don't think that's going to last very long. 1768 is that 1760 something anyway and I don't know what it's got some weird kind of shield thing is this like a token or something see the shield like yeah I've not seen that before just show as much detail as I can because it's probably not going to last for too long on this coin something's coming through yeah I'm sure it's 1768 so 200 250 year old that's pretty cool isn't it Nice. We like it. Sick. Well, we got an old uh, bun with a quite a big 
shank on it to be honest that's what's on the front sweet all right has anyone ever found one of these before it's just literally like really thin light copper obviously it's a cross but no way it must have been I don't know it's so it's so thin I don't know why it's made like that because it's not like it's mounted to anything it doesn't look like there was anything mounted to anything strange Well, I think we might have found another one of these um, farthing things with the rows. That's what I think it is going to be. Alright. So have a look. Let it dry out a little bit. I think so. It's looking like it. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. It's another one. Cool. Tiny little things. The garret seems to love picking them up though. It loves little targets. Right, on to the next. Now this hole just down here. Um, it's got a coin. And looking at the colour and thickness of it. I think this is going to be a George the Second. Or even George the First. George is second. There it is. Hardly anything on that side. Yeah, it's 1750s kind of era, I think. Sweet. Well, I think we just found a silver coin. I'm not sure if it's pure silver. Just literally touched it. Might not be 50% or something like that. This is sixpence and it is, hang on, 1920 something, I think. Um, don't know if that says 1929. So not not pure silver but fifty percent. Still a coin, cool. Right, this signal was banging. Uh, I knew it was really close to surface, so I didn't dig. Uh, don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, is it going to be a button? Yeah, it's a big dandy button. Right, my two hours are up. Um, I'm heading home now. So I will see you at the roundup. Alright guys, welcome to the roundup. Sorry about the lighting, but I haven't had time to do this for ages. This video has been, well, there's three videos that you watched. That I've been sitting on for a little while. I've uh, just found a bit of time, so I'm going to do a roundup. I think I've got most of what was in the videos there. So I'm going to show you a few things quickly. So this... Um, this coin that I found here isn't actually a coin, it's a spade guinea token and it's got a date on it of 1769 so it's like a a Jetton uh, from the 1700s, George the Third 
and could have been used as a gaming piece and this one's got a hole in it so it's been used like worn around something so that's quite cool never never found one of those before um, I'll show you what one of those looks like properly up here and we came up with a George the third penny like the cartwheel penny but without the thick sort of edge around the side of it and not much left on that but that's what that is another George free coin um, which is a half penny or farthing I can't remember uh, another George free coin there another one there seems to be quite a few um, these two were George the second and this one's uh, worn out George the second too a 19 um, what was that 1950 something uh, ship half penny uh, six an 1862 um, half penny um, which has got a lot of you see all that where it's had the rust growing on it you can't can't get rid of that uh, but yeah that's what that coin was um, got this uh, 1951 two shillings an old George V coin there uh, quite a few buttons um, from the various hunts, one of them being this little sailor of navy, old navy button there, but it's just the cap from the top, and that's just a cap as well. Uh, yeah, a few bits and bobs, and I've got a dandy button, big tom back. A couple of kind of biggish size ones, and then we got. I found this, which is a actually a girl guides badge um, from the 40s. I think it's like 1945 or something like that. So sort of around the war or just after. So yeah, that's an original 1940s girl guides badge. Um, got one of these which if you ever see these these are suspender clips uh, women's suspenders uh, got a pigeon ring and this cross which is just made of copper I don't know how old it is I've not even looked it up um, but it's definitely been made to be a cross but with no real no real mount to mount it so kept that, I've got this little ornate bit of something, don't know what that's off of, I kept that, All right, I've got these three coins here, oh sorry, there's four actually, so this one, which has got a rose on it, within a another sort of rose, I actually thought it was one of these coins, but you can tell they're totally different, the size of the rose on this one compared to these two um, this third one I actually think this is more likely to be Roman like a Roman grot uh, because it's a lot thicker just feels different compared to these others but this one's this one's quite nice um, you, there's been a few on this field this type of coin this little farthing this rose farthing and it has like this shield with um, swords crossing on the on the reverse, and that's the same exactly the same as what what this coin is here. Except this one's a lot more worn, but you can see the similarity between the two. But this thing, I think this is actually just a tiny little button because it's kind of curved. You see the back. And the, there isn't really anything on the back. The back's plain. But initially, when I first saw it, because of how small it is, I thought it was going to be a rose farthing, but I don't think it actually is. Right, then we've got a little little thimble. Tiny little thimble. Um, I found these two... Um, I found these before. 
And I definitely think these ones are from a door because of the other finds that I found around this area. And they're like big studs. Now, uh, also found a spindle whirl, which I wasn't 100% sure, but the bottom of it, I've found a couple of these on another site before. And it kind of hollows, like there's two parts to it, like there's a middle and an outer, and they're sort of squeezed together. And when you get that kind of shape at the bottom, and there's normally some like nicks in it, I found they're definitely spindle wheels identified by the flow. And then we got some little weird sort of 1600s uh, little buckle and some other little more little buckly bits. Um, I found some uh, big bullet casings like 50 cal. Um, I don't think there's anything written on the bottom of it. No. So I found a couple of those. Um, this shape thing is normally an old sort of Victorian um, sort of Georgian doorbell. Like it's just the outer part of that. I'm pretty sure that's what it that is because I found a complete one similar to that before. Uh, got a draw handle, two rings, um, some more little bullet things, scrappy bits of lead. This nozzle thing that made me laugh, um, yeah, it's some kind of hose valve connection. Don't know what that's for. Someone might know, but it's yeah, I've never seen, never seen one like that before. That's quite weird. I've uh, got a few musket balls. Uh, this lead token with the T on it, uh, quite nice. And then the best things I found were these these pot legs these medieval pots so they're all different they're all from different pots as well and they're all very in the sorry they're all in a very similar area as in within sort of a 10 meter squared um, I found all four of these legs so there should be some more activity I should find some more stuff around there based just on these items um, but yeah they're definitely this is by far the best the best leg I've ever found, medieval pot leg. It's just awesome. Look at this. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty big. Sorry about the lighting. Like I say, it's like it's dark, and I've got some light on, but it's not ideal. You can even see the like inside where it's blackened, like part of the original pot, because the pot would have started here. Um, and yeah that's that's a pretty big pot I mean you can see it just by these other legs that's like a small small size one that's going up similar size and that's quite a big one and then lastly I found a what I thought was going to be a groat but when I actually cleaned it up when I got home it turned out to be a Lizzie uh, hammered coin uh, it's still bent up I've not changed it yet but I did get a date on it and it's um, 1579 there it is Queen Elizabeth hammered coin which is always nice to find crumpled up by the farmer no doubt hit the plough a few times uh, not much left of the face. I think it's actually it's that way round, and it has like a rose by the head. Oops. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry I haven't put a video out for a while, but I've been very very busy, and hopefully I'll get one out a bit sooner next time. Right? Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>